Hey everyone, it's Mike here and I'm back with another unboxing and quick first impressions and review of a new watch that I've received this Christmas as a Christmas gift. This is the Nomos Club 38 Campus with the light dial, the silver white dial. Um, so I wanted to give you my first impressions and show you what it's like out of the box. So. Um, jumping right in, you can see here, there's a nice cloth bag that the box comes in um, with a bit of a inscription there. I'll take it out of the box and or the bag and show you what the box looks like. So you can see it there. It's a nice wood color with this push button opening mechanism on the front, the logo on the top. So if you open it up, you see here there's a bit of paperwork. Won't go into detail about that. It just sits nicely under an elasticized strap there. You get a very large polishing cloth, again with the Nomos inscription there. And then the watch is here, also affixed with these little elasticized straps. So here's the watch. Again, this is the Club 38 Campus. Club Campus 38, I'll just take the plastic off here and show you close up what this looks like before I talk a little bit more about it. Give you a real close up look. So to talk a little bit about this, this is about 38 and a half millimeters in diameter. Uh, this uh, is a new um, part of the club series from Nomos. It was debuted in 2017. There's this version with the light dial. There's a similar version with the dark dial. And then there's a 36 millimeter version as well. Um, so this is the slightly larger size in the light dial. Um, as you can see, like many Nomos movements, you have um, a, a second subdial at the six o'clock position um, in this series. It's a you know beautiful bright orange color, and you can see that ticking away. And then you've got um, you know this is a time only piece, and so you've got um, luminescent hour and minute hands, and then. All of the markers are also filled with luminescent material as well. So it really glows in, in the night, which is really great. Um, you can see, you know, one of the, the things that was um, talked about when this watch was debuted is the interesting dial here. And as you can see, you have three Arabic uh, numerals at the top at 10, 12, and two. And then you've got stick markers across the dial as well. And then you've got Roman numerals on the bottom of the dial. You know, this is referred to as a California dial. There is some history with respect to that and, and why it's called that. Apparently there were some Californian um, redialers who were doing that, or it might have been one in particular that were mixing and matching Roman numerals and Arabics some time ago. Usually you'd have the Roman numerals on the top, but Nomos in their own unique way has actually changed that and put the Roman numerals on the bottom. Now, I think it is a, a really handsome, you know, well-balanced dial generally. You know, I think one of the benefits of having a time-only piece like this is there's not a whole lot to, to clutter up the dial, even though you have, you know, a mix of uh, different numerals on the dial. So, you know, it, it, it wears very simple. It's a you know, it's beautiful. Um, and I would say the craftsmanship of the dial is great as well. You can see up close, there's um, a minute track around the outside made in Germany on the bottom, which I think you can see, you know, all, you know, very, uh, very well made. And I think really interesting. And I think you can see it here. There's some orange outlining outside the, the numerals, which matches really nicely with the um, orange uh, second subdial there as well, so it it really ties the dial together. Um, the I would say the lugs are a little on the longer side, so even though this is 
by contemporary standards, not a large watch. <clears throat> They're generally straight lugs and they are a little longer, so it probably wears a little longer than, or a little larger than 38 and a half millimeters. You've got a knurled crown there as well. I think you can probably see, maybe you can't. Yeah, there is a Nomos logo on there as well. And there's the side profile, so you can see the length of the lugs. On the back, so um, when this watch was announced, there was only an option for a, a steel case back. Um, a couple of months later, they did offer a, a sapphire case back, which is what this one has, which I think is really great. And it showcases the alpha movement from Nomos, which is their sort of baseline. It's one of their older uh, movements. It's, uh, as mentioned, it's a time only movement. It's a manual wind. Um, and from what I've heard about the movement, you know, extremely reliable um, and really just has a great track record in terms of performance. Um, you can see, I think it's a 17 joule manual, mind, manual wind movement. Um, and maybe I'll just try to wind it up here and you can see some of the gears spinning, winding up the mainspring. And you can see the balance wheel moving away there as well, ticking away. So as you can see, you know, a great level of finishing there as well, particularly for, you know, an entry level uh, luxury watch. You've got the Glashuta striping, although this is made in Germany. Um, and then you've got a spiral effect on some of the, uh, the uh, wheels there, which is really great. Um, this is waterproof to 10 ATM, uh, so you probably take a shower with it, although I wouldn't do much more than that. Uh, maybe talk a little bit about the strap that this comes on. So uh, the whole series comes on these, um, what they call velour straps. They're really, you know, a suede material, so they're <clears throat> real leather, handmade straps. Um, the larger sizes, so the two 38 and a half millimeter sizes, come on this, what they call anthracite uh, velour strap, uh, which I think looks really, really great in person. Um, they describe it as a cuddly material. I can understand that it's very soft. And then you've got the, the conventional leather backing here as well. Um, if you get the 36 millimeter version, it comes on a lighter gray, um, again, velour velour strap uh, which i think also looks really great uh, and i've actually ordered one of those and, and we'll give that a try as well and um, nomos makes it very easy to go and, and purchase additional straps and they're they're very um, um price competitive as is this watch frankly um so there you go you can kind of see all of the um all of the details of the piece Maybe just show you the buckle there as well. You can see that's um, engraved with Nomos as well. And so overall, I think it's an incredible piece. I mean, the value is just um, you know really spectacular on this. It's um, obviously being marketed as a gift for people that are entering or exiting university or high school, and it's sort of their first entry into a luxury watch. You know, I've got a couple of of good luxury watches and um this one you know i thought would be just a great entry to a collection and i was lucky lucky enough to to receive it as a gift so there you go guys that's um a quick overview of the nomos club 38 campus hopefully you like some of these close-up uh shots and i might do a follow-up video um in a couple of months when i've spent some more time with it and let you know uh, what my impressions are at that time. Thanks very much for watching.